we want to multiply and simplify the given expressions. Let's first use the commutative property multiplication and change the order of the product by writing the coefficients next to each other as well as the common bases. The given product is equal to negative three times four times x to the power of negative two times x or x to the first times y to the power of negative seven times y raised to the power of five. And now let's multiply. Negative three times four is negative 12. And then we have x to the power of negative two times x to the first. When multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents. And since negative two plus one is negative one, x to the power of negative two times x to the first is equal to x raised to the power of negative one. And then we have times y to the power of negative seven times y to the fifth. Adding the exponents, negative seven plus five is negative two, giving us y raised to the power of negative two. And now the expression is not considered simplified because we cannot have negative exponents in the final expression. Looking at our exponent rules, since a to the power of negative m is equal to one over a to the power of positive m, if we write the given expression as a fraction with a denominator of one, if we move x to the power of negative one down to the denominator, the sign of the exponent will change from negative one to positive one. And if we move y to the power of negative two down to the denominator, the exponent will change from negative two to positive two. So the negative 12 stays in the numerator. And this is divided by x raised to the power of positive one, y raised to the power of positive two. But of course the exponent of one on the x is not needed. This would normally be written as negative 12 divided by x y squared. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, let's first use the commutative property multiplication and write the coefficients next to each other as well as the common bases. So the given product is equal to negative two times negative five times b to the power of negative three times b raised to the power of positive three, times c raised to the power of negative seven, times c raised to the power of negative two. And now multiplying, negative two times negative five is positive 10. b to the power of negative three times b to the power of positive three is equal to b raised to the power of negative three plus three, which is zero. And then we have times c raised to the power of negative seven times c raised to the power of negative two. And since negative seven plus negative two is negative nine, the product is equal to c raised to the power of negative nine. And now simplifying, b raised to the power of zero is equal to one, and therefore the expression simplifies to just 10 c raised to the power of negative nine. And again, we can't leave the expression in this form with a negative exponent as a fraction the denominator is one. If we move c to the power of negative nine down to the denominator, the sign of the exponent will change from negative nine to positive nine. The simplified expression is 10 divided by c raised to the power of positive nine. I hope you found this helpful.